Hey guys. Well, it's that time of year, and I'm uh, going to head and do my opening interview right now. I'm over at my buddy's house right now, getting set up for my first hunt of the year. I missed opening day, and I'm not 100% right now. I tore my meniscus over the summer, and so I really didn't get to do a whole lot as far as prep work for this year. But I'm excited to be out here and just be able to stand and hopefully get up in the stand. And maybe we'll get lucky and we'll see one tonight. Um, I've been uh, running a trail camera here and got a nice bachelor group of bucks coming through here and a couple of does. And my buddy has given me permission to hunt here. Um, They've just got an abundance amount of deer and stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, practiced earlier today. Shot out to about 25, 30 yards and pretty much dialed in. Uh, haven't killed many deer with my bow, so it'd be nice to actually just uh, see one. And then if I get an opportunity to shoot one and get lucky, we'll see. So, I'm just finishing getting my stuff ready. We're going to be sitting in a hang on tonight. And I've checked the ladder stand, but I have not checked the actual stand. The ladder part of the stand, but I haven't checked the actual stand. I mean, I put some weight on it, but I didn't put my initial body weight on it. So I've got my safety harness and a safety rope, of course. But I also uh, I've got my lineman's belt, so when I go up the tree and everything, I do pretty much good. And you hear everybody else talk about it, guys. These things are very important when you're out here climbing and stuff like that. So. Make sure you get one. Hunted here a couple times. I haven't been successful yet, but hopefully my luck will change. The uh, owner who gave me the permission also cut the uh, grass here. And for whatever it is, every time fresh cut grass comes along, it seems to be pretty good. So he cut it earlier this morning, so hopefully uh, we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna shut up and make my way towards the woods.
Alright guys, we just got down. I went ahead and took my pack and everything back to the truck. Um, sitting right where I killed the deer. Those footprints are here. I don't see any blood at all. But uh, I know that he took off, trampled over a bunch of things. I couldn't really get him on video. I can see my knock and I think he's there. Um, I, thought, I saw him go down on camera and I don't think he got back up. So. Uh, we're gonna see if I can pick up on some blood because that's always fun and uh, go from there. So come along. You can see my Luminoc through there. I know he came up here, but I shot him straight down and uh, the arrow was still stuck in him when he took off. So I don't know if there was any exit wound, but I had a heck of a shot on him. I mean, and I wouldn't have shot him except for the landowner has asked me to kill any deer that he that I can just to get them out of the population this place is covered up in deer so oh, there he is right there man the flies are already on him like crazy He's been dead for a minute. All right. Definitely got a good shot on him going down from that angle. Definitely will be a good buck to eat. Oh, I can't bend down like that. Definitely good genetics for uh, being a spike. I'll tell you that. Yeah, he had a good 11 pointer. So I'm gonna get him out of here get him cleaned up and then uh, I'm actually going to donate the meat to a buddy of mine who's asked for it so uh, we're on the board 2022 couldn't be more excited that's my fourth bow kill also one last thing I forgot to mention there you go bro hadn't even taken it out yet boom that one's for you Next one's for me.